seven at the left wrist in the middle, make sure the wrist is already bent down so the knuckles face the tiger. You don't want to chop, you want to punch. So the knuckles are down and punch. Open, circle, and is up. Take the fist, it's up and you can back. Right hand, 12. Knuckles already facing the tiger. 13, 14, open, 15, it's up, it's up. Okay, first session begins now. Open the left hand. The moment you open this hand, you're already at the correct height. Don't go up, don't go down. That is the correct height for practicing. Use your elbow and start bringing it forwards. Right, so slowly bring it in and forwards from the elbow. Couple of thumbs in. Keep the fingers linking together. Not jam, but at least close enough to be comfortable together. And center them out slowly towards the front. Remember the key is to keep the front wrist at the same height as the rear wrist. And elbows just a little bit lower with a slight angle. That way the stance assists the hand. As you go forwards, take note of how you feel in the shoulders. You'll get to a point in here where the shoulder muscles are going to try and take you away. When you reach that point, that's where you stop. Because we don't want the elbow to straight. Want to stay in the middle. For those who are very skinny and flexible, it should be easy to hit the middle. For those less flexible, if you can't hit the middle, just make sure it comes out 90 degrees to your shoulders. Don't get into this habit because this is structurally not so strong. This way is much stronger. So, whatever you can do, keep 90 degrees between here and here. All right, at that three quarters distance, circle in, around, slow it down, bring a stretch and convert to control. Now the key thing is that the wrist is still in the same place. So the height of your front wrist is still the same height as the rear hand. Right? Just because someone wants to punch in the nose doesn't mean you're sticking hand up here. You draw their punch away. So by keeping the wrist here, we're learning to draw their power away from us. So the elbow is coming back, not the hand, not this. It's always from here. Elbow back slowly. Imagine someone's pushing, you've all done the drills with somebody there. Try and imagine that's happening now. Someone is forcing their hand against yours, so let them push. Steal their power. Tear them. Take it off you, give it back to them. When you're about a fist away from the body, pull up. Just let the hand collapse and go to sleep. Fingers, forearms, everything switched off. The wrist is still in the same place, the elbow is going to push in here. Slowly pushing forwards from the elbow. It's not about jamming the arm into the middle, it's make some room and bring it naturally. Stephen Patrick has got his elbow in the middle yet. If he knows how to use the shape, I can't get in. I'm trying, but I can't get in because he's using his whole forearm. He's not obsessed with his elbow. Everything from here to here is not going to kick me out. The same for you. Even though your elbow might not be in yet, keep the wrist forward. Apply for a whole forearm. Right, keep going until you start to feel that same sensation, the shoulder beginning to tighten, try to take it away. Circle, use up, pulls up, guarding the center, and collapse again. So imagine something is too strong, let it come in. Your opponent is giving you a favor by trying to hit you. So the more he reaches out, he's getting weaker. The more he compresses your arm, you're getting stronger. That's working for you. You try to leave your arm out there and hold you, you do it straight away. That's coming. Fist away. Hooks out here. Just let the hand go loose and start pushing forward. Remember, there's no mystical stuff associated with this. We're not trying to gather our chi or do some sort of isometric exercise. Switch it off. Soft, loose. We're training the handle, not the tool. Handle first, then we'll put the tool. Nice and handle to the first. Bring it forwards a little bit at a time. Make sure the front wrist stays at the same height as the hand. And keep your elbow down. It's always a slight bend. Three quarters extended, so it's up, it's up, and back again. If you're looking at yourself in the mirror, most of you can see what you're doing. Your elbow should always be below your shoulder. If your elbow is out here, it's not very good. It's all glass. If you've got your elbow below the shoulder, it's got the natural strength of the triangle. Right, this triangle is one line, this is here. So keep that line. Back in the 
straight line, this the way, full stop. Right, this is the last one on this hand. So see if you can get the best technique, meaning keep the wrist full, drop the elbow in, relax the shoulders, see how close you can get to the center. Keep everything soft. Breathe naturally, don't try any special breathing, don't hold it. In through your nose, down into the bottom of your lungs, out through your mouth is about the best way. Relax it. But you don't have to hold it for 10 seconds or do any prayers or anything like that. Three quarters extended, circle, it's up, it's up. Back to the last time on this side. All the way back, check the fingers are pointing straight up and down, and if there's any, a good connection between the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder, so that it won't collapse easily. No tension in there, it's happening because of the membrane of the forearm locking in closely. Fist away from your center, don't worry about the next guy, fist away from your center, pass up straight across the body. Remember, don't follow the shape of your chest and go around, straight across. Don't go past the shoulder. Bring it back in the middle. Tip it down, right up in front of your own face. Turn it over. Keep it locked so the elbows straight, not bent. And bring it up. Fist, it's over. Bring it back. Right.